Um, okay, so we are back. We've got um, we've got Emily here from Living Tree Foods, and um, um, these guys are also part of the Launchpad finalist group. They've got a pretty cool product, um, a plant based ravioli. Um, looks pretty good. Um, basil ricotta. There's a garlic spinach version. Looks looks pretty cool. Um, but what we thought we'd do is just get um, Emily to tell us a little bit more about Living Tree. And the product and and then we'll kind of riff our way through this one so um they'll be at the show they'll be competing for the award you guys should definitely come by and and uh, check this product out and and um see where it fits in your stores okay. anyway i'm gonna shut up and, and let you talk <laughs> perfect well thank you so much for having me first of all i'm emily from living tree foods um i'm the co-founder co-owner with my partner kyle um, and so, yeah, so we're a vegan company. We're based in New West, uh, just outside of Vancouver. Um, and our whole kind of reason for being and reason for starting is to make uh, plant-based foods that kind of defy those vegan food is not good stereotypes. Um, we want to be as accessible as possible to people who you know, might have preconceived notions about vegan food. Our main product line actually is a cashew based cheese spread. Um, but yeah. our newest product line is the ravioli that you mentioned. And that's what we're being featured for in the uh, launch pad competition. And it actually uses our cream cheese as part of the filling. Um, yeah, so kind of our claim to fame is being like the best uh, vegan cheese out there. A lot of people have told us that obviously we think that ourselves. And so we try to, we wanted to like capitalize on that, use it as part of the filling for the ravioli as, um, as well as, you know, really fresh ingredients, like fresh basil, fresh hand peeled garlic, um, just to make the best tasting vegan products out there that people can't, uh, you know, say are inferior to traditional ones. I think it's cool. Like it's I, very I cool. like, yeah, the, the cheese looks amazing. And then the ravioli, I think, I think is, uh, it's super interesting, right? Cause I think you're, you're right in that. I think that there are lots of people who probably want to take a crack at some vegan products, but we've certainly, we've had some bad experiences, I guess I would say. So crossing over yeah. is not so easy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I feel like historically uh so i've been you know vegan for a long time vegetarian for a long time before that so we've always <laughs> just been grateful that there are these options in the grocery store and you're willing to sacrifice on you know taste and um whatnot and ingredients sometimes but i just feel like there are enough people now it's not just diehard vegans who are interested in plant-based foods so just we need to like you know level up and mm -hmm. not just people who are going to be willing to sacrifice on taste who are interested in plant-based foods now. Well, I got it dropped off at the house today. The first, the packaging looks, it's quite nice. I know. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It, no, I, I took it out right away. I haven't had it because we've been recording all day. I haven't had a chance to have lunch, but yeah. I, I am going to cook it up today. I want to see what it looks like. It Through the package, it looks like what it should look like. Thank you. Right. The packaging is nice. The ingredient deck is is quite clean. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of curious to see where, where it lands, right? Because, oh. I, I, because I'm Italian and, you know, my mom and my nonna made, uh, fresh egg pasta. So that egg can work for many vegans. Yeah. Right. And, but the stuffing was typically, typically spinach, spinach and ricotta. So ricotta wouldn't obviously make it for the vegan either, but mm -hmm. it was, they're pretty clean products. So I'm very curious to see what a, an eggless um non-dairy cheese is going to be like it's but um your packaging and your look are already pretty good so thank you that's actually you know. so cool to hear you say that because i designed the packaging myself um you did so. well with it it's nice though it thank reads you. well it's the size is fine um this needs to be refrigerated obviously or frozen yeah so this one's frozen um yeah. But yeah, you're right. That's partly why we wanted to do this because even vegetarian ravioli and tortellini um, <clears> often <throat> has egg in the dough. So there have been very few vegan raviolis out there. So we just thought it was an yeah. To me, that's the biggest bigger stumbling block. Like you don't even have to have the cheese in it. 
Like yeah. you can just do a straight a spinach stuff and you can do um, mm -hmm. a sweet potato squash. or a yam yeah. squash. There's so many things that you can do mushroom. Like you don't need exactly. a dairy or a non-dairy cheese even. So that's to me, what I was more than even the yeah. pasta. I was just curious to see what a, what the eggless, uh, eggless part would. Yeah. Uh, would that be that like. was the first thing that both of us did. Right. So as soon as we started looking at the product, that was the first thing we went to the ingredient deck to try and figure out like, what we're we using is binders, you know, kind of all those questions that, yeah. that come up along the way. So well, um, the unfortunate part of the industry is they typically, uh, uh, the vegan yeah. side or, or plant-based <clears> has gone <throat> at the beginning was just a so bunch of extra fillers. Mm -hmm. Not that they were bad fillers, but you know what I mean? You're thinking mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't want all this. Yeah. Stuff. Even if they're not bad, just being, no, it's, with it. just yeah, like it's just, yeah. yeah. Too much yeah. stuff. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we try and keep them as simple as possible. Even the pasta, we don't use anything to replace egg. We just omit it. It's just flour and water and it binds perfectly. We use right. a double zero flour, like the really fine. I saw that yep. too. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. That's really cool. Can I, um, I, I'm, I, I saw something that I hadn't seen before, but so I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to tally up the amount of talent going on here. Um, just cause like, so you did the, you do the packaging, you've got this wonderful product, you've got these cheeses, but when I go to your about us, the two of you are lawyers. Is that right? Because you went to study law school, you graduated law school. Yes. So we graduated okay. law school. So my partner is technically yeah. a lawyer because he was a year ahead of me. He um, did his articles okay. and was you know, called to the bar, worked okay. for a little bit. I graduated. We started the business uh, while I was in my final year or going into my final year. So I graduated, but I can't technically call myself a lawyer yet. I think I'll okay. probably go back to it at some point in my life, but uh, finish it up, right? You're there. Exactly. So I have my degree, um, but I do want to practice at some point probably, but this was just a more exciting opportunity for us right now. Like, see, that's super talented. Like, uh, you know, the normal career path doesn't look. <laughs> well, most lawyers become, Get most lawyers degree, become foodies, Go right? make some cheese. And, yeah, it know. makes sense to me, right? <laughs> It's, it's, it's logical. Most lawyers and foodies, yeah. Yeah, like same, same. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Exactly. Um, One the yeah. same, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, like I love it. I, I love it. I love it. I think I think one of the things that we hear a lot, and it never fails to surprise us and delight us all the time, is people who find things they love and then and then go chase them, right? So, what drew you to this, um, though? Like, what yeah. was, like, what, yeah. it was your partner at the start, like, the idea, yours together? Like, why, like, why do this? Yeah. So yeah, it was definitely, you know, a left turn. It was not always the plan. Um, so my kind of driving force in life has always been, you know, you know, animal protection, I guess you could say just in general, I've, mm -hmm. uh, you know, volunteered for organizations and whatnot. And the reason I went to law school was, uh, probably to become an animal lawyer. Um, I was kind of torn, to be honest, between going the more corporate route and, uh, you know, donating to mm. these organizations or actually working for them directly. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that was kind of my driving force. And I met my partner at law school. He always wanted to go into business. Ultimately, he didn't want to be a lawyer forever. Um, and so we started dating. I was making food for him. He was not familiar with vegan food at all. He'd actually previously lived on a dairy farm. Um, and he was just blown away at how good vegan food could be and was like, there must be so many other people out there like me who have these, you know, I guess, misperceptions uh, or misconceptions about vegan food. And there's such a market for it. Why don't we try selling these at farmers markets? And they were just so well received that we just kind of jumped ship on the whole law thing for the time being and <laughs> just went into this full time. Yeah. And how's it been? Um, good. I mean, there's obviously the ups and downs of running a business. It's very stressful. Growing is difficult and stressful. Um, it's been so well received and we, you know, we were a top 10 finalist with our cream cheeses for the BCFB product of the year awards. We won yeah. gold, gold, uh, thank you for outstanding new product at, um, another trade show called from the ground up. So we get a lot of really good feedback um it's just really hard to grow we moved into our own facility a year and a few months ago and so it's kind of hard to keep your business and your capacity in lockstep you're always going to need to kind of gain more capacity yeah. to be able One. to service distributors right. but then your business needs to catch up so 
it's a yeah. bit of a struggle and a balancing act um but it's been going well there are a lot of positives it's just uh you know you're the kind of final line of defense for any problem which is different than either of us had ever experienced right right entrepreneurs so <laughs> right and you're you're distributed now via who and where are you so um we have a regional distributor dover specialty yeah. foods um we should be launching with cisco shortly as well we're already on the website um so for food service for food do service do you have wow. restaurants lined up um, so actually we're in, uh, Siegel's Bagels and Rosemary Rock Salt yeah. with all the cream cheeses. Um, I don't know if you guys- I'm from, I'm, I'm, I live in East Vancouver. Okay. Yeah. So kind of like the institution, uh, uh, bagel places. Um, and they had tried vegan cheeses before and they just hadn't caught on and they've been some of our best customers for the past two, three years now. Um, wow. runs. Thank you. Wow. Uh, and so in terms of retail, we're available at Whole Foods as of this month. That's exciting. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, Fresh Street Market, IGA, Nature's Fair. Um, All the right guys. Yeah. And so we're just trying to get into a few more of those, you know, medium sized big chains and just, you know, keep, keep growing. Rosemary, rock salt, stongs. Right. Stongs, stongs, with stongs, stongs, stongs would be good. Donuts yeah. would be good. Like there's all yeah. Yeah. Your usual suspects in, in the city. That's exactly. really good though. Wow. Yeah. And what's this what kind really of price great. point on that ravioli that was dropped yeah. off that you dropped off? Uh 1099. Okay. It's it's not hey. it's it's up there, but it's not brutal. Yeah. So they're 250 grams a bag. So our suggested serving size is 125. So it's right. two um, people. Two servings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, I think for the quality and the convenience of it, um, we're trying to keep it as reasonable as humanly possible. <laughs> well, it's, it, it, you know, as you're, as you've learned, ingredients don't fall off a tree and exactly land free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just amazing how much you don't realize goes into a package to get it to shelf. It doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not an easy gig. Exactly. Right? Just, yeah. At first we, when we first started, we, you know, didn't know how to like build in everyone's margins. And so, yeah, there's just a lot. There's a, yeah. There's a lot of people get yeah. uh, between you. Well, that, <laughs> that leap, person. right? The <laughs> farmer's market to a grocery yeah, it's, store. It's like, it's a big chasm. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. This is great. We're, good, we're, we're so glad you did this. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad you Thank came you on. I, it's yeah. a, it's that's super cool. Yeah. That's yeah. super cool. Okay. Appreciate it. Oh God, yeah. our pleasure. We're, we're looking, we're looking forward to seeing you at CHFA. We'll, and if people we'll want to find to you at you CHFA, on. where, mm -hmm. where are, do you know your booth number or where you're at? Twelve forty nine A in the twelve forty nine A. Yes, uh, in the in, incubator alley. Um, we're actually part of the Natural Products Canada uh, sponsored cohort in the incubator oh, alley. Oh, cool. Okay, so okay. you're not down the Dover aisle. You're going to be down okay. incubator yeah, aisle. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Awesome. Very good. Well, we'll um, see you. We'll yeah. see you next week. We'll see. You, I guess. Yeah. Obviously, at Launchpad, and then we'll see you at the show. Are you serving food? Should we eat lunch, or can we just show up? <laughs> oh, I don't think you're going to need to eat lunch. I think the samples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you stock up on ravioli at our booth. Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. just want to make sure that you know, okay. you know, just in case you see two hungry guys come by, you know what's going on. Yeah, we got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Thanks so much, Emily. Emily, have a wonderful thanks. afternoon. Yeah. Uh, thanks for doing this with us. Perfect. You as well. And I will see you okay. soon. Sounds right. good. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.